Hello students, welcome to MJC Learning. I am Manju Dilip. Today I am going to start with the 12th standard mathematics part 1, first chapter mathematical logic part 2. So today we will start with the topics conditional or implication, biconditional or double implication, negation of statement. First one, conditional or implication. If two statements are combined by using the connective, if then, then it is called as conditional or implication. If P, Q are two statements, then if P, then Q is called as conditional. So you have to use if in the beginning, then you will write this simple statement. Then you have to apply this word then, then the simple statement Q. And it is denoted by P implies Q. Otherwise it is called as if P, then Q. In P implies Q, P is called the antecedent and Q is called the conclusion or consequence. True table for conditional. This is very important. You have to buy heart it. P and Q are two simple statements and the conditional statement is P implies Q. So in the first row, the truth value of P is true and the truth value of Q is true. So true implies true is true. True implies false is false. False implies true is true. False implies false is true. So in this one, P implies Q is false only if P is true and Q is false. P is true and Q is false. That is in the second row. Only that case you will get the answer false. So remaining all cases you will get true as the value. The following are also conditional statement P implies Q. So instead of writing P implies Q, sometimes you will get this kind of statements. P is sufficient for Q. P is necessary for Q. P implies Q. Q follows from P. P only if Q. In all these cases, in the place of P and Q, you have to substitute simple statements. So, here one example is given. Let P, the seeds are sown in April. Q, the flowers blossom in June. By symbolically, P implies Q can be written this way. If, the beginning you, are start, you have to start with if, the seeds are sown in April. Then you have to apply the word then here. Then after that, you will apply the second simple statement that is the flowers blossom in June. And you have to write this small letter. For example, if Mumbai is in Maharashtra, then Delhi is in, this is the capital of India. Here two simple statements are connected with if then. If is the beginning and then is connected in between. So first simple statement is Mumbai is in Maharashtra. So it is given as P and the second statement named as Q that is Delhi is the capital of India. So symbolic form is P implies Q and the truth value is Mumbai is in Maharashtra is the correct statement. So the truth value of P is true. Delhi is the capital of India is also correct statement. So the truth value is true. So true implies true is equivalent to true. We already studied this true implies true in the last, sorry, sorry in the first row of the truth table. Example to solve, this question is for you. Let P is given as it is raining and Q is given as the weather is humid. So, write the symbolic form and truth value of the following sentence with conditional. The statement given here is, the weather is humid only if it is raining. So, here in this question, if is given in the middle. 
so sometimes in some questions you will get if like this also so you have to try to solve this next is biconditional or double implication if two statements are combined using the logical connective if and only if then it is called as biconditional so the word here is if and only if that is the biconditional word if p comma q are two statements then p if and only if q is called as biconditional so you have to begin with simple statement then you have to apply if and only if in between and then you will write the second simple statement like this way you have to write in words so it is denoted by p implies q and which we read, read as p by conditional q or p if and only if q truth table for by conditional this is also important you have to by heart it so here the first row element uh, the truth values are true and true so that is true if and only if true is true true if and only if false is false false if and only if true is false false if and only if false is true so in this table by conditional statement p implies q is true if p and q have same truth values that means in the first row both the values of p and q are true and in the last row false and false both the values are same so only in these two cases you will get the value as true the remaining two cases you will get false example 3 plus 8 greater than or equal to 12 if and only if 5 into 4 less than or equal to 25 so if and only if iff also you can use in the place of if and only if so 3 plus 8 greater than or equal to 12 is the first simple statement so i have given p 3 plus 8 greater than or equal to 12 and q is given as 5 into 4 less than or equal to 25 now the symbolic form is p if and only if q like this now the truth value of this is the truth value of p is what 3 plus 8 greater than or equal to 12 that is 11 greater than or equal to 12 is given that is wrong that is why the truth value is false now the second statement 5 into 4 less than or equal to 25 where 20 less than or equal to 25 that is correct so the truth value is true so false if and only if true is equivalent to false next is negation for finding negation of a statement only one statement is required so for negation you will get only one statement you have to write the negation of that if the statement value is p then you will write the negation of p is false and if it is false then you will write it as true so symbolically negation of p is denoted uh, by negation p like this the negation of negation is the statement itself that means negation of negation two statements are given in the same sentence then it will become positive statement so negation of negation p will become p truth table of negation only consists two columns if the statement value is true then the negation will be false if the statement value is false then the negation will be true next example write the negations of the following statements first one six less than seven so you have to apply negation in between the symbol that means the six less than seven less than symbol you will change it so you can write it as negation is six greater than or equal to seven five plus six equal to twelve so here five plus six is equal to twelve is given so you will replace that equality with not equal to like this now price increases this is very important because here there is no auxiliary verb is given but increases it is given like this that means it is simple present is given so the negation of this is the price does not increase next type of questions are coming like this if statements p q are true that means 
statement P and Q values are true and R and S value truth value is given as false. So determine the truth value of the following. P and negation R and negation Q or S. So you are just applying the truth values of each and each and every statement. That means P truth value is true and R truth value is false is given in the question. Remaining symbols you have to put it like this. So in the place of P it is true. In the place of R it is false. In the place of Q it is true. And in the place of S it is false. So next step true and negation false. So in the place of negation you will first apply that. So negation false is true and negation true is false remaining as it is. So true and true is true. False or false is false. True and false is false. Next is negation of negation P and R or S implies negation Q if and only if P and R. So here again we are just substituting the truth values of each and every statements. So negation as it is you have to put the negation of negation P that means P value is true and uh, negation value sorry uh, the value of R is F and the value of S is given as false again negation of Q that is negation true then remaining part you have to just substitute it same. So negation of negation true is what false false and false or false implies negation true is false and the answer for this is true and false is false. Next step negation false and false is false or false implies false is true that is the last row we studied in that conditional table if and only if false. So here negation as it is we are not changing this negation till the end. So false or true is true if and only if false. Next step negation of true is false if and only if false. So false if and only false is true. Thank you.